Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check something different. It's not a commercial sample, it means those are first sprues for the upcoming Zbuild 204D from Special Hobby. As you remember this kit is prepared in 148 scale and we have a chance to check the first sprues or first test frames for this kit. As you can see they are not 100% fur perfect fit I would say or perfect finish they will be in the final boxing but we have a chance to see what will be the powers division what will be the powers design because only the minor changes will be applied and we'll do it together today in this video so as you can see all frames are supplied like this to me just several plastic bags and that's all one sprue is even out of the plastic bag and we are going to start actually with this plastic sprue. I'll rotate it like this and let's zoom in a bit because as you can see it barely fits into the frame. Okay, so here we have wing parts and first of all I was quite surprised by the size of this aircraft kit. I mean, I thought that Zebo 204 will be quite a, not that big aircraft I would say, but you can see here the wingspan um, or actually length of one side of the wing here you can see comparison with my hand it's really long wing and as you can see it will be fixed on those tabs so I think it's better to use some strengthening rod uh, which will be inserted into the fuselage and it will be holding both wings because otherwise it might be tricky to get the nice alignment nevertheless um, here we have two halves for each side note that lower part of the engine gondola is promoted External detailing is completely fine. We have recessed panel lines and riveting. We also have ailerons pre-molded, which is quite strange for 148 scale kit. Nevertheless, let's zoom in and do the zoom mode so that you can see all this stuff with your own eyes. Okay, so that was the first plastic sprue in this kit and you might have noticed that we have the guiding pins on the leading edge. This element should actually help with parts alignment because otherwise it will be tricky with such big parts. Next we have all grey plastic sprues packed into one of the plastic bags as you remember. So just give me a second, we'll remove them and we'll take a closer look. So first of all, due to such packaging and I had to handle it in my hands, as you can see one part broke off, here it is, it's the same box, but no worries to you, it should arrive intact because it will be in the box, mine was in the backpack, so that's why there is some 
Uh, there are some consequences, as you can see. So here on this sprue, we have various parts for engine gondolas, as far as I can understand, because on the other side, as you can see here, we have quite nice detailing. Uh, also note the door is detailed inside as well, which is really cool because it will be openable on the final version, on the assembled version of the aircraft. Propeller blades should be glued separately. And keep in mind that I don't have the assembly manual for this kit yet. So we will have to do some guesswork in order to understand what part goes where. But here you can see separate exhaust stacks. So they will be inserted in engine gondolas, obviously. And now let's zoom in and do the zoom mode once again so that you can see all those parts closer. We can also saw that wheel fairings should be glued out of two halves, so be ready for this. It might be a bit tricky because uh, you will have to send those parts in order to avoid possible seams between them, but I hope it will be easy to do this task. Here we have third grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to, I guess this is interior floor, those are tabs for the wings obviously. Then here we have some landing gear parts, even the leather for internal detailing. I guess those parts will be used for engine gondolas. Again, here we have separate propeller blades. Our landing gear wheels, they should be glued out of two halves for each. So if you have a chance to get the resin set, and there for sure will be a CMK resin set for wheels, I would rather recommend to get it because it will offer uh, better detailing. And inside those parts we have guiding pins, so at least this will help you get a nice result. Nevertheless, let's zoom in once again and check all those parts closer. Okay, so that was this third plastic sprue. Now we go to the fourth one. This one is also not that big. Here you can see it. So as far as I can guess here, we have some interior parts because we have seat parts here, for example, seat bags. Also we have those bottles, I guess this will be oxygen bottles. 
And actually this proof should be like this because as you can see here we have the small writing that it's for Zeeble 204. Again molding quality even in this set of sprues it looks really good so I can guess in the final release it will be also quite nice. And now let's zoom in and check everything closer. Okay, by the way I hope you noticed the detailing of the cockpit parts because they were quite nice but we will talk more about it in the end of this video. Here you can see next plastic sprue and the most notable part here is this large cockpit 4 which also features some nice detailing, pre-molded one with recess panel lines. Here we have various interior walls, also the nose section is molded separately, the nose section 4. We have some parts for the um, cockpit and also for the view wells as far as you can see. So now let's zoom in and take a closer look at all those elements. And again you saw the detailing on the interior doors. It's really cool because I mean some manufacturers do the do include the openable doors, but they're completely plain inside, so it's like why did you include this even though there is no interior detailing. But here it is good to see that special hobby thought out this element and we get it out of the box. 
here we have another plastic sprue. Uh, those parts are obviously used for the tail wings. As you can see, the tail fins are molded separately. The same can be said about the engine coilings. As you can see, they should be glued out of separate parts. And there are one, two, three, four, five elements to combine together. Now, uh, it's cool to see that nose section or frontal section of the engine coiling is molded separately. Then inside, I can see that we have some guiding pins for the tail wings. But for the engine gondolas, yes, there are also guiding pins present, even though they're quite thin, surprisingly thin in my opinion. But let's zoom in and you will check it all with your own eyes. As I said before, what surprises me is uh, thin guiding pins and also note those installation points for the tail wings. They're really small, so I would rather use something more serious because obviously such element won't hold part properly in place. Here we have one of the biggest parts in this kit. Those are fuselage halves. And just to remind you about the size of this kit, here you can see comparison with my hand. It's huge aircraft in my opinion, even though this is 148 scale, still it will be quite big in the finished state. By the way, here you can see the cutouts for the wing insertion, but as I said, it's better to use some rod which will be connecting both wings together with the fuselage. Again, here we have the recess panel lines in riveting, we also have the separately molded clear elements. Inside, I can guess there are guiding pins which should help you with alignment. We also have some internal detailing. Um, in the fuselage. I guess for openable doors you have to cut them off because as far as I can see all doors are molded shut so here you won't be able to open them. So now let's zoom in and take a closer look at these parts so that you can see it with your own eyes once again.
even though now doors are molded shut, it's still cool to see that there is some interior detailing, which will be later used for some nice appearance. Here we have last gray plastic sprue, this one again dedicated to wing ports, and as you can see it's completely the same design. Two halves, here we have some parts for the landing gear system as far as you can understand here as well. Again we have resist panel lines and riveting, ailerons are pre-molded, the same can be said about flaps. And we won't be checking this one because again I will repeat myself that part set is similar, even the guiding pins are placed on the leading edge. So let's move on, we have one more sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag. As you can guess this is a, a clear sprue. And here we have various parts for this aircraft. Why well, I'm a bit confused now because I can see that some parts were deliberately broken off and I'm not sure why so I guess that will be specific for this version of the aircraft. But again, molding quality looks really good. As usual, Special Hobby won't be including any masks into this kit, so you have to think about buying some aftermarket set. But otherwise, molding quality looks fine. And let's zoom in and take a closer look at all those parts. Okay, so that was the last plastic sprue in this kit. As you can see, that's quite extensive set, I would say. In 148 scale, you still get a lot of plastic sprues. And I think there will be some additional sets from CMK for sure. It will be engine, cockpit, landing gear wheels, maybe some radio station, something else. But they will be sold separately, so you won't be getting them in the box. As far as I remember, commercial release will happen on Brno, Model Brno exhibition, so you will be able to get it right after this expo. And in my opinion, it looks like a nice kit, especially if you consider that there is still no normal kit for this aircraft. Uh, Special Hobby plans to work on various types of this aircraft, because it was quite popular type, I would say. There are a lot of different versions and they all will be copied in 148 scale. For myself I can also add that there is a um, small possibility that we will also see this kit in 172nd scale. Not this year of course but maybe sometime later, one year after, we might see a release in small scale as well. But for now we have 148 scale. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this set here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like the button. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any new video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.